today I'm here to talk about my disappointing reads of 2018. So I have nine books to show you and I've got them all in order of when I read them. But I'm not going to talk about saying these are the worst books of the year or these are books I hate because I don't hate them. I'm just disappointed in them and some of them I enjoyed a lot more than the others. But And there's some books that I could have put on this list because I was kind of disappointed but I didn't want to be like I'm a little bit disappointed. Like that's okay. These are books that I'm just like pretty disappointed in and also because they could be overhyped or just because I didn't like them so it's a wide variety so that's why I call it most disappointing because that's kind of what it is and I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of books on this list that are people's favorite books of 2018 so I should put a disclaimer here this is my opinion you're allowed to have your opinion and I really do think it's kind of a good thing that we can all read books and take something different from them and feel differently about them because if we all felt the same about these books it would be a bit weird I think so I'm sorry if this hurts your opinion and I'm not attacking you as a person for what your opinion is on these books but I just didn't like them. So the first one is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Everyone was hyping this up as being this amazing face story and I was so excited for it. Then I started reading it and I did not like it. I have a whole review where I'm just ranting about this book but I really don't like the fact that the bullying is so bad in this book. It made me uncomfortable reading this with how much they were hurting Jude and I just was not a fan of it and I didn't like the sister relationship in this book and also it was so easy to guess everything that was going to happen. Like literally everyone's here like, ah, oh, it's so shocking. And I'm like, how can you not see? Like there's so many hints to what is going to happen. And I was just not a fan. Like I want fey books where I'm shocked by what's going to happen at the end. If I can guess the ending, it automatically loses a star for me. But I did buy The Wicked King because I do want to see if this book is going to get better. So people should know that I'm going to give the second one a go. I pre-ordered it before the end of the year so that it gets here. And then, you know, I can't buy any more books after that. But I can't even remember half the reasons why I didn't like this book. Like, I'm kind of looking at it now and I'm just like, eh. When I read it at the time, mate, I was so annoyed because everyone was excited about it and then for the rest of the year everyone's been talking about how good this book is and I'm like no no <laughs> next I was disappointed in the becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin so I read the original trilogy and it was okay like I liked the first book better than the second and third because it just went really weird and I was like what is going on and what is the point but then I get to this book and it's Noah Shaw's perspective and I was like okay this might be interesting it was not like without spoiling anything it just everyone changed my diet changed as a character and I just didn't like what was going on and really what was the point of what was going on because it just became really weird weird and just it wasn't what I mm, like Noah sure is a weird person to be in this perspective of and I definitely don't think I'm going to continue this series like the fifth one has come out and I'm like I'm not going to buy it because for one I have a gazillion books on my shelf to buy it for it just to sit there and not be read and two I just didn't like this book and it just really irritated me and I just am so annoyed because I finally read the My Diary trilogy and then it was like oh it was shit mate next on my list is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein and it's not that I hate this book it's just that it was too overhyped for me because everyone talks about this book and it's got so many ratings on Goodreads and everyone's like oh this is so amazing and then I read it and I just wasn't really like the biggest fan of it and it's because of the hype. If I read it a couple of years ago when it was still relatively new in the hype train I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more and I hated the movie like the movie was so bad like I just wasn't like the fan of the story and I did like all the references but I felt like it was a bit too much and it's a bit too geek and I knew to expect that when I went into the book but it was just too much for me. I'm not a gamer or anything so a lot of this I didn't really relate. I do love the movie references and the TV show references and the music references but other than that I'm just kind of like yeah whatever. And again watching the movie two days after I read this book really didn't help with the reading experience because everything was different in the movie and a lot of people are like this movie's great and I'm like read the book mate because you will see that it's not great. So there was a lot of hype and movie coming out and everything just revolving around this book making me not like it. Next on my list is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi. This is a book that I didn't even really want to read in the first place but then I got it in the Wire Chronicles and it was the Biblio Squad's book pick so I gave it a go. And now just to say guys when Carve the Mark came out last year there was so much surrounding that book about it being like racist and about different things happening with the characters and when I was reading this book I was still in my Carve the Mark kind of what the hell is happening like is this diverse or is it racist or is everything going really wrong in my brain and I couldn't experience this book with as much love as so many other people have and also also, I was making a baby blanket at the time for my brother, so it took me 18 days to read this. So I was reading this when all I was thinking about was making a baby blanket. So these are two issues that were happening in my mind at the 
time and honestly I think I need to reread Carve the Mark as well because this is what happens if booktube wants to hate a book they will hate a book and it gets really hard to read same as like with Xena everyone went crazy on that book and then I read it and actually kind of really enjoyed it I just had so much trouble too and it was kind of like the year of diversity and it was really good that we got so many diverse books and just to be face to face with you guys is like I just had trouble reading this book because I felt like people of color were being oppressed in this book and it was kind of feel not feeling very great to me and how do people like let this slide but then carve the markets attacked and then I was kind of getting a bit iffy about rain the earth because I'm like isn't this the same thing because like the desert people are the ones that are poor and live in the desert and then all the white people are in power like it was just this kind of issue and the way that they were writing about characters and making them sound like they were very vicious so this is just what was going through on my head and I definitely am going to give this book another go I'm going to reread it before the second one comes out so that I can actually really experience it and hopefully enjoy it the second time and I also watched Avatar for the first time and I know that she takes influence from Avatar so these are reasons why I want to give it another go but at the start of the year I was just in a really weird frame of mind. My biggest problem with this book though is the insta love because I just cannot deal with the relationship in this book. It was killing me and I was not a fan and I just really got annoyed with it but other than that I did like the other characters and the plot was remotely interesting. It's just all these factors ruined my reading experience of this book. Okay mate we're gonna talk about probably my most hated book of the year and that was Skull. I decided to buddy read this with Erin to read so we read it around the same time but I had to read it in like three days because I had to finish this because it sucked. I had to finish it because I just was not a fan. The writing is weird. You read the first chapter it was all weird like colloquial language and then the characters are so bad and there's like this love triangle that doesn't make sense and I really didn't like the main character and the plot was so easy to tell what was gonna happen and I have the other two books and I don't think I want to give it a go. Oh my god I'm like looking naked again guys. I'm trying. You do know that I have clothing on but I just can't. I can't with the main character. I can't with the love interest. I hope this was gonna be an amazing Robin Hood retelling but it was not and I'm not a fan of what the hell happened in this book. Guys I will seriously link below my review because I go on the rampage with the rant for six minutes. I feel like I didn't even have to edit that much in the middle of it because I'm there like blah, 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 at this book. It is the most savage I've ever been in a video okay. Next is the summer I turned pretty by Jenny Han and the reason why I'm disappointed in this book is because all the boys I loved before were so good and I thought her first trilogy was going to be so good but it was not. I've read the first two books and I've still got to read the third one because I do want to know what's going to happen here but you know it's the general summer story there's a love triangle between two brothers but I feel like this love triangle doesn't happen until like book two because there's no real romance thing and then suddenly in the end of book two the romance is happening and I'm like what is like it just felt so disconnected it's told through like flashbacks and stuff and I'm like I don't care about your lives I just was here for some cute romance and it's not even cute and I just was very annoyed by it. Next on my list is Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. And this is one like when it came out, a lot of people were talking about it and saying it was a really good book. And then I read it and it was just so weird. And I know that so many books finish on happy endings that I feel like we should get a lot more books that have unhappy endings and really appreciate it for being like everything isn't perfect. But I really didn't appreciate the ending of this book, okay? Because I just got so annoyed by it. And like the characters, as I said, they're so weird and this relationship was weird. And I I just didn't like the point of this book and it was just like ugh, like reading it the whole time because I was just not here for the stuff that was going down. I feel like I'm probably going to get a bit of hate for this one but I'm saying Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Mass. I filmed a 52 minute reading vlog if you guys want to see my full on thoughts because I do talk about what I don't like in this book. I just can't deal with the fact that we waited two years for this book and it was just not good. Like yes I love everything that happens to the characters and I, like I love the relationships but the plot was pissing me off. Since book one there is this thing that has been meant to happen that Aileen has been meant to do right and it just didn't happen it just dwindled out like this was the biggest plot thing of the whole entire series and it just was over like it was no point to the whole entire book because the big thing didn't even happen and it was such a stupid way that it did happen and I got so annoyed too because all the characters were separated and then they all came together at the end and it was like oh my god so we've had to follow so many different perspectives so many different storylines and that's why the this thing is so chunky when it didn't need to be. And Sarah J Mass didn't take it far enough and I just wasn't satisfied with the ending of this book and just there was so much that I wanted to see more of and there were so many things that were just elaborated on too much and I just, ugh, I can't do this anymore. 
I'm just so glad this is over, but then it's annoying because every time I read one of her endings, I don't like it. A Court of Wings and Ruin disappointed me as well, and this was on my list last year or the year before, but I just was so annoyed by this book. Like, I still gave it five stars because, I mean, I've been in this world for so many years. Like, so many relationships that I've been rooting for for so many years finally did happen, but I'm just annoyed the biggest part of this series wasn't even anything at the end really. And lastly on my list is Akane by Lynette Noni and this is on this list because everyone hyped up this book for me and then I didn't like it. Like this book was meant to be amazing and I was so excited for it because so many people have been talking about it and I finally picked it up and I was finally like yay and it's just kind of like a ripoff of Harry Potter but with so many more tropes and so cringy. It's predictable and I don't like Alex the main character because she tries to talk like she's so mature but she seems like she's about 40 14 years old and I'm just like what is wrong with you but I wanted to love it and I sadly did it and I will pick up the second one to give it a go and I probably will read the rest of the series because I own them all I am just annoyed with the things okay so these are my most disappointing reads I nearly lost it I've got it nine isn't the worst but it just means like there's this list of disappointing reads and I'll have a list of good reads and then everything else is sort of in the middle you know but anyway guys thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time